Not long ago, we were amazed by the Spot robot from Boston Dynamics, which seemed like the pinnacle of perfection. But technology doesn't stand still, and already, four-legged machines can do incredible things. This is vividly demonstrated by the Animal Robotic Dog, which has mastered parkour and walking through building ruins. During tests, the robot gracefully climbed stairs onto a wooden crate, then jumped from it to another. The machine also feels confident when walking on rough terrain. It can overcome various obstacles by climbing over them or crawling under them. According to engineers, these skills will allow the robot to be effectively used during search and rescue operations. The Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom demonstrated the classified long-range laser weapon Dragonfire in action. Tests were conducted at a special range in the Hebrides Islands in Scotland. During test firings, strikes were made against various aerial targets. Despite being fully classified, some information about this weapon is still known. The installation consists of a solid-state laser, which consists of beams of doped glass fibers. At the output of the optical fiber, thanks to a special beam combining system, light is transformed into a single powerful beam of light which hits enemy objects. The entire system is mounted on a turret and is additionally equipped with a special camera for target acquisition and beam correction. According to representatives of the department, the weapon can hit any visible target and is capable of hitting a coin from a distance of 0.62 miles. And for those who love to fight with comfort, they will appreciate the self-propelled combat chair with guns. As they say, defeat the enemy without getting up from the chair. Kalyan Energy is the largest solar power plant in Europe. The highlight point of this grand structure is the control center, which is a real oasis amidst the Turkish desert. The main feature of the complex is its unique facade covered with 7200 panels made of polished stainless steel. The panels vary in transparency, ranging from solid to fully perforated. This combination allows for a unique reflection of sunlight and changes the appearance of the building depending on the time of day and weather. For example, at dusk, dawn, or on a cloudy day, the contours of the building seem to blur creating the illusion of a mirage. Meanwhile at night, the building literally glows from within, brightly contrasting with the surrounding environment. Additionally, differences between the panels are clearly visible from the outside and fragments of the interior can even be seen. About 80% of the ocean floor worldwide remains largely unexplored. American company Ocean Infinity has decided to address this situation and has launched the Armada Project, aimed at creating a fleet of 23 marine unmanned robot ships for deep-sea exploration. Equipped with various sensors, video cameras, microphones, radars, GPS, and all kinds of satellite communication, these unmanned ships will be able to quickly and efficiently explore the depths of the world's oceans for the purpose of subsequently deploying wind power stations or laying oil and gas pipelines. At present, one of these vessels is already undergoing test trials off the coast of Norway. It measures 255 feet in length, with a crew of 16 people. According to company representatives, this number can be further reduced in the future. For comparison, the crew of a classic ship of a similar class typically comprises 40 to 50 people. DJI has unveiled its latest creation, the Inspire 3 drone with a full-frame professional camera, capable of capturing footage at resolutions of up to 8,000 pixels or 8K video. The device also supports a wide range of colors, is compatible with various types of lenses, can take 360-degree panoramic shots, and can record videos in various formats. As for the drone itself, its operating range is 9.4 miles, with a maximum speed of 58 miles per hour. A single set of interchangeable batteries provides up to 28 minutes of flight time. Moreover, it can fly at incredible heights up to 23,000 feet above sea level. The new model will be available for purchase at the end of June, 
and to own one of these, you'll need to shell out $16,499. Want to feel like a fighter jet pilot without leaving your home? Then the FA-18C Aircraft Cockpit Simulator with augmented virtual reality functionality is just what you need. Czech company Dogfight Boss has made the simulator so compact that it can easily fit in your garage or even your apartment. The system consists of two main parts, a movable platform and a cockpit model installed on it. The cockpit interior fully mimics the real environment seen by the pilot. To fully immerse yourself in the world of flying, virtual reality goggles come in handy. According to company representatives, the simulator's lightweight and silent operation allow it to be used for pilot training in professional flight centers, as well as for entertainment at home. Unlike the previous device, our next simulator can boast compactness and lightness. Kraken is a huge 100-ton centrifuge costing $19 million. It is used to simulate spaceflight during NASA astronaut training. The machine spins passengers like clothes in a washing machine, creating conditions closely resembling those in space. It can move in six directions around its axis and simulate complex flight scenarios. One of them is landing, during which spacecraft crew members often experience dizziness and nausea. The main goal of such space journeys on Earth is to help astronauts cope with disorientation during flights and train their vestibular system. Israeli company Elbit Systems has unveiled its new development the maneuverable, compact and fully autonomous Bird of Prey weapon system for drones. The setup provides fast and precise combat against low observable enemies during combat operations beyond line of sight, including in urban environments. The system has a folding design and low weight, making it easy to carry in a standard infantry backpack. Deployment and operation of the device are performed by one person. Various types of firearms can be mounted on the system – assault or sniper rifles, handheld grenade launchers, etc. Its autonomous operation time is 45 minutes, with a hit probability of over 90%. A perfect tactical addition to the previous invention would be the Vision 60 Combat Robodogs from Ghost Robotics. Sniper rifles capable of hitting a target from a distance of 4,000 feet are mounted on the backs of these four-legged machines. To camouflage from night vision devices, the RoboDog's body is covered with a special ceramic material. Additionally, the machine is equipped with a thermal imager, electro-optical sensor, and light sensors, allowing it to effectively perform tasks at any time of day. The robot can travel up to 8 miles on a single charge at an average speed of up to 5 miles per hour. Italian company Lamborghini has now ventured into yacht building. Its first creation is the Lamborghini Technomar 63, with a 4,000 horsepower and a price tag of $3.5 million. The yacht's hull is made of lightweight and durable carbon fiber, which combined with the high power of the engines, allows the boat to reach speeds of up to 69 miles per hour. The yacht's design is as sleek as its character. True fans of the brand will recognize the signature automotive touches in the hull's lines. Even more similarities with cars can be seen in the interior. The seat upholstery is made of signature materials and sitting in the captain's seat gives the impression of sitting behind the wheel of a sports car. The number 63 in the name is not chosen by chance. The yacht is 63 feet long, and only 63 of these boats will be produced. Fish farms located near the shores are a serious source of pollution for coastal waters due to fish feed residues and fish feces. Placing them in open sea would result in their destruction by the first storm. Scientists Chen Minwang and Jörg Baumeister solved both of these problems by creating a unique fish farm structure called Sea Fisher. One such module includes 12 fish pen sections and is attached to the seabed using suction cups far from the shore, 
where currents disperse fish waste into the ocean. The module's frame is made of sturdy polyethylene pipes that, in the event of a strong storm threat, fill with water and pull the entire structure underwater, where wave energy is much lower. After the storm passes, the water is pumped out of the pipes and the structure resurfaces. Do you think a wing can fly separately from an airplane's fuselage? Turns out, it can. The innovative aircraft Horton X-2 proved it with its design developed during World War II. The aircraft consists of a single wing with a two-seat cabin in the middle. According to the developer Horton Aircraft, this design comprised of streamlined shapes allows the aircraft to fly farther and faster compared to a classic airplane with similar characteristics. The wing's length from tip to tip is about 32 feet, weighing 600 kilograms. Engineers say the aircraft's design allows various engines to be installed depending on the tasks ahead. The flapper Nimble Plus drone with flapping wings, similar to that of a hummingbird, made a breakthrough in aerial robotics as the world's first flying robot without propellers. This design provides increased durability for the drone itself. There are no blades to break when it falls. Also, flapping wings are safer for the surrounding environment. The invention is 19 inches long and weighs only 4 ounces. It's controlled by a remote control via radio or a smartphone via Bluetooth, reminiscent of a video game. Equipped with the Lighthouse Optical Positioning System, precision sensors, a 3-axis accelerometer, and a gyroscope, the entire device and its feature are controlled by AI, making the Biobot extremely maneuverable. Plus, it can autonomously fly within a designated area, performing various maneuvers. To keep up with European luxury brands, Cadillac has released its electric car, the Celestic. Each unit will be handcrafted to order by a team of artisans, similar to the Rolls-Royce, so every customer can create their own exclusive car. Inside, owners can expect bucket seats, a transparent roof with adjustable tinting, a 55-inch digital dashboard, vibrant leather, built-in screens in the front seat backs and LED lighting accents inside and out. The base model is equipped with a pair of 600 horsepower electric motors and adaptive pneumatic suspension. To improve maneuverability, the large sedan features rear wheel steering. The battery provides a range of 300 miles with fast charging capability. The starting price is $340,000, with the final cost depending on customization options which are limitless. Wave Engine Corp has demonstrated the first jet engine without rotating parts on a UAV. Unlike old jet engine models, there are no mechanical control valves here. They have been replaced with digital control. The J1 impulse system has a curved elongated tube and its principle of operation is as follows. An air-fuel mixture enters the combustion chamber. The combustion of the mixture and the movement of the explosive wave with enormous pressure along the tube create thrust. At the same time, a partial vacuum is formed behind the shock wave, sucking in a new portion of air and fuel, so the impulse operation of the jet is repeated. The new engine weighs only 18 pounds and is 64 inches long. It can run on gas, biofuels, ethanol. The absence of moving mechanical parts increases the lifespan of the power unit and improves operational reliability. The existence of unmanned aerial drones are no longer surprising to anyone, but AFRL's low-cost, attributable aircraft technologies has developed the first unmanned aircraft, flying at speeds of 652 miles per hour. It doesn't need a runway for takeoff, it launches from a rocket launcher. It also lands with parachutes and air cushions so it can land right in the middle of a field. The unmanned aircraft has compartments for light armaments and can climb to an altitude of up to 45,000 feet. Its range reaches 3,500 miles. During a test flight, the Valkyrie XQ-58A released the Altius 600 drone from its cargo compartment 
which can be used to combat enemy UAVs, jam radio signals and create kinetic effects. As part of the Skyborg program, the Valkyrie drone will autonomously fly in tandem with manned aircraft. It has already undergone testing as a communication node for F-22 and F-35 fighter jets. Want to rethink how mass events are held? Then the Oceaea water platform is what you need. The floating platform ranging from 4,000 to 12,000 square feet features a cinema, nightclub, restaurant, and daytime lounge, as well as numerous gazebos and relaxation areas. It is constructed from modules, making it customizable like a transformer. This allows adding a restaurant or removing excess space. It features many sofas, rattan furniture, and even hanging nets with cushions above the water. All its components are made from environmentally friendly materials, and its navigation around the world will allow for the exploration of marine ecosystems to combat climate change. It is planned to move through coastal areas of America, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Swiss company Ray Research AG has proposed the Ray VTOL civilian aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing, which accommodates five people, one pilot and four passengers. Lift for vertical takeoff is generated by four large horizontal propellers integrated into the wings. Their compact arrangement helps reduce wing area. After reaching the desired altitude, the propellers are turned off to save energy, and the aircraft moves in the sky like regular planes using the thrust of two vertical propellers in the tail. The propellers are powered by two 600-kilowatt gas turbine engines. Double power is built in, so there's a backup in case one of the engines fails. The aircraft's cruising speed reaches 200 knots, and the range is 1,000 nautical miles. The Turner Catamaran is considered the world's largest solar-powered boat. It has photovoltaic panels covering an area of 5,500 square feet, occupying the entire deck. There's only space left for a small cabin on top. Energy is stored in six battery banks and transferred to a 120 kilowatt engine. On water, the boat is supported by the central hull and two carbon side skis. This provides both lightness and strength. Inside, there's a trawl net with a scoop for collecting marine debris and the vessel can collect up to 8 tons of waste in one voyage. This boat has embarked on its second circumnavigation journey. The main goal of the journey is to reduce the amount of floating debris. The secondary goal is to beat its own record for circumnavigating the globe, with the previous journey taking 26 days. Want to travel on both land and water with just one vehicle? then Rick Doberton's Hydrocar is for you. It switches from land mode to water mode in seconds. When driving on solid surfaces, the car uses wheels, but the hull is surrounded by a continuous pontoon. When entering the water, the pontoon drops 8 inches, turning the car into a hydrocycle with a tunnel hull. This provides excellent stability on the water and reduces resistance. It is powered by a motor with a propeller and hydraulic thrust for steering. The hydro car is constructed from boat-grade aluminum and stainless steel, making it completely corrosion-resistant. However, its creator still recommends using the vehicle as a collector's item rather than for everyday use. This stunning carbon fiber crossover boat is perfect for water recreation. The yacht can accommodate up to 16 people, and four people can sleep here overnight. It has a spacious cabin, a shower, a swimming platform, and a kitchen area. Its foldable wings on the deck open up, creating a large beach club area. There's plenty of space on the deck for relaxation and entertainment. For example, you can set up sun loungers for sunbathing and use the swimming platform. Hidden cabinets along the deck provide additional storage space for belongings and equipment. Thanks to its design and lightweight, the yacht can reach speeds of up to 63 miles per hour. Therefore, it can be used for water sports and extreme riding. General Dynamics unveiled a new version of the Stryker X vehicle at a military equipment exhibition. 
This armored vehicle can fire laser weapons, launch attack drones, and conduct electronic warfare operations. The vehicle is equipped with a hybrid electric engine. The diesel engine is only used when necessary to generate electricity. This helps reduce noise levels and fuel consumption. The presence of numerous sensors and cameras provides transparent armor, the ability to have full visibility and control in 360 degrees. Soldiers inside are protected by an integrative active protection system and modern electronic architecture with cybersecurity. The design allows the armored vehicle to be used for various military purposes. It can be equipped with all types of modern weapons for combat, defense, and observation. This military ground drone is equipped with a new remote combat module. It features a paired Gatling gun and a fire control system that includes a radar sensor. It can fire an impressive 6,000 rounds per minute and can be controlled via a tablet. Because of this, the combat drone can be used as a system for defense against unmanned aerial vehicles or for direct fire support for soldiers. Thanks to the combination of a diesel engine's power and a quiet electric motor, the overall range is 280 miles, and it can be used to transport cargo weighing up to 2,000 pounds. The kit provides for autonomous, semi-autonomous, and convoy driving, as well as automatic and semi-automatic deployment of the combat module. Chinese company Lifit has created a modular underwater jet scooter for professional divers and enthusiasts to explore the underwater world. It can reach speeds of up to 7 feet per second. The module comes with one engine, but it can be configured to move with two. The batteries are rechargeable via a standard USB-C, and the scooter has plenty of mounts such as for action cameras, various gear, and accessories. There's also a kit with two guides for using two scooters at once. This device can be easily installed on boats, surfboards, and kayaks, making it useful for fans of various water sports. The Wave House team has printed the largest building in Europe on a 3D printer. It took about 140 hours to complete. The house is located in Heidelberg, Germany, and will be used as a new data processing center. Although the building's area is 6,600 square feet, it has a modern futuristic look. Its walls have a wavy design that cannot be achieved using conventional construction methods. The device is capable of printing at a speed of 43 square feet per hour. The use of 3D printing helps reduce CO2 emissions compared to traditional construction methods. The budget electric bike M-Way M20 looks like a motorcycle. It combines small wheels, chunky 4-inch tires, and a multi-seat bolted to a versatile frame. This makes it comfortable to ride in both urban and off-road conditions. The bike is equipped with two powerful headlights and a monitor on the handlebars where you can view trip information and select mode settings. For example, you can set a speed limit. The bike's range on a single battery is 47 miles in minimum power mode, and a full battery charge takes 5 hours. An additional battery can also be installed. The bike costs approximately $1,200. American company Anduril Industries has unveiled a new kamikaze drone capable of targeting enemies up to 100 miles away. It can loiter in the air for up to 75 minutes. In addition to target destruction, it can be used for reconnaissance, observation, target designation, communication, and other tasks. This is possible due to its open architecture and the use of special software. The drone can be launched from the air or from ground-based launchers. One operator can control multiple drones simultaneously by combining them into a swarm of drones, with each drone having its own task during the operation. Which of these innovations impressed you the most? Share your opinion in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and support the videos with likes. This motivates us to create more interesting and informative videos, keeping you up to speed about the new technologies that are mind-blowing.